Hey guys, I'm Keep with the Color of Coffee Collective and Coffee with Keep. Today we're going to teach you how to make a pour over using the Fellow XF Stag Brewing System. We're here at Doshi House here in Houston, the Greater Third Ward area. Uh, we're gonna be using their Duality Coffee, which is a Nicaraguan Papua New Guinea natural washed coffee that gives hints of guava, as well as tropical fruit and black tea. And so we're excited about brewing this up for you today. So we're gonna also be using the Fellow Stag XF. As I mentioned before, it's a double insulated glass uh, that holds your coffee and keeps it warmer. Uh, in addition to, we've got our brew funnel here. And here just a little bit, we'll talk about that. We're also gonna be using the Fellow Kettle. So our recipe today is gonna to be a 15 to one ratio using 20 grams of coffee, as well as 300 grams of water. First part of this process is we're gonna wet our filter. We're basically washing the filter to make sure that our coffees, once it's dispensed, does not have any odors or, or paper taste to it. And once that's done, we empty, it out, we empty out our brew vessel and we're ready to brew. Thing I love also about Fellow is this cool little funnel that allows for you to take and put your ground coffee into your filter without it spilling everywhere. Next thing you wanna do is just make sure that the bed of your coffee is flat. So the first step we wanna do is we want to bloom the coffee and we do so by pouring water into little circular motions. In the blooming process, what we're doing is is we're allowing for the coffees to release the oxygens that are in the coffee to come out and extract out. And we normally take, that normally takes about 30 to 45 seconds. Once that process is done, we will continue to pour in slow circular motions. Why is that so important, the extracting of oxygen out of the coffee? Because you want the coffees to literally have the natural taste of the flavors notes that we noted earlier. The thing I love about the stag method compared to the uh, a V60 or the Hyrule V60, it's just a continual pour. It's not a wire to pour, and it's just a straight down drop. And if you notice, there's literally two holes. There's not an opportunity for the coffee to kind of get stuck and just continues to drip. And so we just want to continue to pour. And the process should take you anywhere from three and a half to four minutes, um, allowing for your coffee to slowly drip out. The cool thing about using the stag process also is especially if you're a person that's on the go a lot uh, and you just want a great cup of coffee and a pour of a method, this is probably one of the better methods because it extracts the coffee so well. As I mentioned earlier, this cup also acts as a dual process and once you're done, you can literally just sit this in here and it'll be kind of your dripper holder. And sip on some coffee, or sniff it, Snip on some coffee. Man, it smells amazing, very floral. Great coffee.